today i'll be discussing a very important yet very simple topic in economics that is elasticity of demand in simple terms elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded of a good to a change in various factors affecting demand accordingly we can classify elasticity of demand into price elasticity of demand first one is price elasticity of demand secondly income elasticity of demand and third cross elasticity of demand i'll be explaining all the three but we'll be mainly focusing on price elasticity of demand which i think is the most important one among them price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demand of a good to a change in its price we all know what is meant by law of demand law of demand states that other things remain the same when price of a commodity falls uh, the, the quantity demanded rises and vice versa Uh, this law of demand only indicates the direction in which quantity demanded of a good changes in relation to a change in price this does not tell us by how much or to what extent uh, the quantity demanded changes as a result of change in price this information as to how much or to what extent quantity demanded changes to a change in price is given by the concept of price elasticity of demand uh, now we can calculate price elasticity of demand using the formula elasticity of demand equal to percentage change in quantity demanded by percentage change in price usually in the case of normal goods price elasticity of demand will be negative because of the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded we can write percentage change in quantity demanded like this change in quantity demanded by original quantity demanded percentage change in price can be written like this change in price by original price now we can represent change in quantity demanded by delta q and original quantity demanded by q then we can represent change in price by delta p and original price will be represented by p by cross multiplying we will get the formula okay this is the formula for calculating price elasticity of demand i i hope you understood how i got this formula okay moving on to income elasticity of demand like price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demand of a good to a change in income of the consumer we can use uh, we can uh, calculate income elasticity by using the formula delta q by delta m into m by q this is just like the uh, formula for price elasticity of demand here delta q represents uh, change uh, change in quantity demanded delta m represents change in income of the consumer and m represents original income of the consumer like likewise q represents original quantity demanded 
okay. Next one is cross elasticity of demand. Cross elasticity of demand. Cross elasticity of demand like income elasticity and price elasticity measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded of a good to a change in price of other goods. We can write the formula like this. Here delta Q is re represents uh, the change in quantity demanded of first good. Delta P y represents change in price of second good that is Y, good Y. P y represents price of good Y and Q x represents price of uh, sorry quantity of good X. Okay. Uh, I have explained all the three but as I said we will be focusing on price elasticity of demand. So let us see what are the degrees of price elasticity of demand. There are 5 degrees of price elasticity of demand. First one is perfectly inelastic demand. Degrees of price elasticity of demand. First one is perfectly inelastic demand. Demand for a commodity is said to be perfectly inelastic when to a percentage change in price there is no change in quantity demanded. We can uh, show perfectly inelastic demand with the help of a demand schedule and demand curve. The initial price is let us say 10, then the quantity demanded will be 10. Okay. When the price increases to 15, quantity demanded will remain at 10. When the price falls to 5, the quantity demanded will remain at 10. That is there is no change in quantity demanded to a change in price. The curve will be like this. the y axis this is the y axis and this will be the x axis. In the x axis will represent quantity demanded. The y axis we will usually we usually represent price. Okay. The initial price is 10 and the quantity demanded is 10. When the price rises to 15 there is no change in quantity demanded and uh, the, uh, the quantity demanded stays still at 10. When the price falls to 5 also the quantity demanded does not changes. We can say that in the case of perfectly inelastic demand the demand curve will be a vertical line parallel to the y axis. This occurs perfectly inelastic demand occurs in the case of essentials like a life saving drug whatever may be the price the demand does not change. The coefficient, the coefficient of perfectly inelastic demand will be equal to 0, 0. Second one is inelastic demand. Demand for a good is said to be inelastic when to a percentage change in price there is less than proportionate change in quantity demanded. We can explain inelastic demand curve with the help of uh, inelastic demand with the help of a demand curve and demand schedule. Initial price is 10, then the quantity demanded is 20. When the price falls to 2, the quantity demanded increases to 22. We can see that when the price falls by 8, 8 rupees, quantity demanded increases only by 2 units. This is shown in the diagram or diagram like this. We can see that in the case of inelastic demand curve, inelastic demand, the demand curve is steeper. And the coefficient of inelastic demand is less than 1. This occurs uh, mostly in the case of necessaries like uh, food, fuel, etc. 
okay third the third degree of price elasticity is unitary elastic demand demand for a commodity is said to be unitary elastic when to a percentage change in price there is equal change in quantity demanded we can see this from the demand schedule when price falls to the initial price is 10 the quantity initial quantity demand is 20 when the price falls to 5 the quantity demanded doubles to 40 this is represented by the diagram this diagram and the curve for unitary elastic demand will be a rectangular hyperbola the coefficient of elastic unitary elastic demand will be equal to 1 and this this is this occurs mostly in the case of normal goods okay the fourth degree is elastic demand okay in the uh, demand for a commodity is said to be elastic when to a percentage change in price there is, there is more than proportionate change in quantity demanded we can see that from this di uh, diagram and this schedule in this schedule we can see that the price falls only by 1 unit or 1 rupee but the quantity increases by 20 units that is when the price uh, when there is a small change in price there is a bigger change in quantity demanded so the, the, the diagram for this gra uh, schedule is like this, like this and we can see that in the case of elastic demand uh, the, the curve is a flatter one with this much change in only this much change in price causes this much change in quantity demanded in this case the coefficient of elastic of demand will be greater than 1 the fifth one is perfectly elastic demand demand for a commodity is said to be perfectly elastic when there is infinite change in quantity demanded without any change in price we can see this from this uh, demand schedule and diagram we can see that price remains constant at p but quantity demanded changes uh, the, when the initial price is 10 quantity demanded is 15 uh, and the price remains the same but quantity demanded changes it increases or decreases and the curve will be a curve will be um, parallel to the x axis i hope you understood uh, the uh, differences between price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand and all the five degrees of price elasticity of demand